Hi children, now we are going to practice some vocabulary words regarding the lesson living and non-living things. Listen carefully and practice yourself. The first word what we are going to see is lifespan. 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 Lifespan means the period of time the organism lives. The period of time the organism lives. Generally we can say from birth to death. Lifespan. Lifespan. The next word is growling. Growling. Growling means making a low guttural sound in the throat. A dog growls. A dog growls. The word is growling. Growling. The next word what we are going to see is shedding. 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 Shedding means fall off. The leaves shed from the trees. The leaves shed from the trees. Shedding. The next word what we are going to see is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll means a green pigment present in the leaves of the plants. Chlorophyll means a green pigment present in the leaves of the plants. This chlorophyll gives the green color. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. The next word what we are going to see is features. Features. Listen carefully. Features. You have to pronounce this word as features. Which means quality or property. The features of a house. The features of a tree. The features of a building we can say. The next word is environment. 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 Which means the surroundings in which a person or an animal lives. The surroundings in which a person or an animal lives. Environment. Environment. The next word is antony. 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 Antony meaning a pair of long thin sensory appendages. Which means a butterfly we can easily find a pair of long thin sensory appendages. They are called as antony. Antony. The next word is spiracles. Spiracles. Which means a breathing hole seen in insects and fishes. A breathing hole seen in insects and fishes. Through these spiracles only, the insects and fishes can respire. Spiracles. Spiracles. The next word is microorganism. 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 Which means a very, very small organism. We can't see with our eyes. We can see with the help of microscope. In generally, we can say germs, bacteria, viruses. In advertisement and all, you people see soap advertisements and all. Well, we have to wash our hands to kill the germs. They are generally called microorganisms. I repeat, microorganism. Microorganism. The last but not the least word is mass. Moss. Moss means a small, flowerless green plant which lacks true roots. It is a pl plant but it does not have any roots and it does not show any flower also. They are called moss. We can see this on the rocks, stones and on the trees. So these are all the some vocabulary words. Practice yourself in your home. Thank you.